house of the Lord. Please turn to your neighbor. Tell them the Apostle Paul admonishes us not to sorrow like them without hope. That we should not sorrow like those without hope for we have hope. Please tell your neighbor we have hope. Because Jesus resurrected and we have a living hope. He said, He that believeth me though he die yet he liveth. That puts a smile on my face. Because his words are true. His words are true. And they are life. So I will request you we stand up. Our brothers and sisters online. Welcome to this evening service. Service in Yakaungezi. Homegoing service for our brother Peter. Homegoing service. A service a yoke in the Ewaka for our brother Peter. Wamgando of Peter. Our friends, you're welcome. A quan of a fee to Baniza. Our parents, you're welcome. Our workmates, you're welcome. Amen. Amen. Kindly bear with me when I fail to hold it, but I'll try. To count land, I'm on my way. Where the soul of man never dies My darkest night will turn today Where the soul of man never dies One more time Take and You may clap your hands I'm on my way where the soul of man never dies I know my darkest night will turn today Where the soul of man never dies There will be no sad farewells, dear friends no dim light Where all is love, peace and joy And the soul of man never dies A rose is blooming there for me where the soul of oh man never dies And I will speak in time Where the soul of oh man never dies No sad, no sad, no sad farewells Dear friends no dim dies where all is love, peace and joy and the soul of man never dies Now a love like peace across the foam where the soul of oh man never dies It shines 
to life that shows of hope they wear the soul of man never die they are no sad no sad farewell dear friends no tea no tea and joy and the soul of my never die my life will end in deathlessly where the soul of man never dies where there will be no and where the soul there'll be no sign no sign farewell the afraid no tea no tea and joy and my soul oh my never die all my way to that fair land where the soul oh my never dies where there will be no party Sad farewell, oh, and no tear, no tear, dim die. Where all, where all is love, is and love, and the soul of my never die. No sad. Deep 
Tell me peace in the valley for me and you. There will be peace in the valley for me. Oh Lord, I pray there will be no sadness, no sorrow, no trouble. I will see there will be peace in the valley. And so weary, Peter, you've been tired. And weary. Yet you must, you had to go alone. Till the Lord came and called you, called you away. Oh, yes. Well, the morning where you are is bright, and the lamp. Is the light and the night night is as big as the day? Oh, yes. oh, there'll be peace in the valley for me someday. The grass is green, and the skies, skies are green and serene. Oh, yes, where the sun ever beams in this valley. Oh, no clouds there will ever be seen. Oh, yes. Oh, there is peace in the fire.
into one when we get up to the When the last winds of sorrow in his life had blown, I'm sure there was someone waiting for him to show him to show him the way. He didn't have to cross to another room. When I come to the river. At the ending of day, when the last winds of sorrow have blown, there'll be somebody waiting to show me the way, and I won't have to cross. We don't have to worry about that moment. I won't have to cross Jordan alone. That is the only hope we have. Jesus died all my sins to atone. If you haven't accepted him, that is the only hope we have. When that darkness I see, I know. He'll be waiting for me And I won't have to cross Jordan alone Though the pillows of sorrow and sickness And trouble may sweep Christ the Savior Will still care for his own. That is our hope. Till the end of our journey, our souls he will keep. We won't have to cross Jordan alone. Come on, sing it with a great confession this evening. I won't have. To cross Jordan alone. Death, where is your victory? Jesus died all my sins to atone. When the darkness I see, I know He'll be waiting. When I reach that moment of crossing over. If you are a sister, or a sister, help me hug that sister next to you. If you are a brother, hug that brother so tight. Tell them we won't have to cross Jordan all by ourselves. He'll be waiting. And he was waiting for Peter. He loved him better than we did. So he chose to take him home. And one day he'll come for me. I know I won't have to cross. When my time shall come. When your time shall come. As long as your hope is in him. Oh, you won't have to cross. That Jordan. All by yourself. For say that is all our hope. 
hope. That is our hope. We don't sorrow. Like them without hope. Because we have a hope. He rose. He overcame the prayer. And was said, where is the victory? This is a graduating service. A service. A brother. Has crossed from this body full of pests and diseases, full of skin worms. He's crossed over. Yeah. It hurts me. And the person I was standing here and seeing on the camera standing there is not there. I already saw him standing there. But I can't see him anymore. I have to go to the studio every day of my life again. He won't be in there. And he's in a better place. That is my only hope. His life. His hope. Was in the rock of ages. All other grounds are sinking sand. That is my only hope. Blessed assurance. Brother Colin. That is our holy hope. Here is our holy hope. So if you hear. The Bible says. The Bible says. Samson, Samson killed more Philistines in his death than his entire life. It is my prayer that if you have never known Jesus, Heavenly Father, today may you live here knowing we are uh, human beings this morning and the, the comers to this place of worship Start it again. Thy great hand has moved the volume. Up the voice on the Our Heavenly Father, we as uh, human beings this morning and the, the comers to this place of worship, Thy great hand has moved among us and taken from us one of our precious brothers who we love and know that Thou did love him. And you had a reason for all this, Lord, or it would not have happened in this way, knowing that our Bible tells us that all things work together for good to them that love God, and that He did. And we look around in the world and we find the nature in every way speaking to us that the grave cannot hold Him. For on earth He served the purpose that you sent Him here to do. He was a good, loyal brother. We find that in the life a botany life and in the life of the sun that rises of a morning to give us light and in the middle of the day it becomes middle age and in the evening it dies again only to rise again the next morning fresh and new because it served God's purpose we see the flowers as they bloom and beautify the earth and decorate the funeral halls and the wedding places and serves a purpose opening up its heart and giving out freely honey to the bee and perfume to the passer. Beauty to the seeker gives all it has in a service for God. Then it bows its little head, but when spring comes around, it rises again because it served God's purpose. Then in the face of all nature and the Bible, the promise and the Holy Spirit, we can gladly rejoice in our heart to know that our brother Taylor likewise, Lord, served God's purpose. 
And to say that he would not rise again would be to deny our Bible, our God, and all things that God has given us to look at to know that there is a resurrection. So we are looking forward to the time when we shall see him again, when he is young and healthy and never to more to be sick or get old. Bless his precious wife, that loyal companion of his. How that we will miss them long, Lord, as we see them going together out to the pond and sitting on the little benches out there fishing and talking and how they were real sweethearts together. And now we know that there is a great day coming when the heroes of faith will march under the great ark of triumph and the angels of, with anthems will fill the air. We'll see them again in that place. Until then, Lord, give us courage. Bless us and help us. We'll long miss Brother Taylor and everyone who comes to this church. I would stand at the door and find a place for the comer to hear the Word of God to sit down and ease and rest. And the other day when he passed over, Lord, I prayed that the great archangel of God stood there at the door to find him a place too, Lord. He could sit down, for it is written in the Bible, the merciful shall obtain mercy. Until we see him, Lord, may the memories continue sweet in our hearts. Until someday when we meet again in the other land. Through Jesus Christ's name we ask it. Amen. Until we see him again. He has lived for God's purpose. And whatever lives for his purpose, he will bring back to life. That is our consolation. That is our assurance. There's a condolence message I would like to read. It says, receive, kindly receive my heartfelt condolence. The speckled bird family. The speckled bird family. The family of brother Peter. The family of brother Peter. The media team. Media team. From Sister Janet Kalonda in Zambia. Kuva was Sister Janet Kalonda in Zambia. Amen. I'm going to welcome some special songs. And then we shall welcome our pastor. Autoanizom Sumba Fe. Before we sing the songs, okay. I know it's hard for you guys, but media team, please come. Media team, Madam Basava, Mujie. I remember the day when I called you here. But now we are less than one by one. And the Lord will give us grace. Just going to read something very short. It says, but just in a congregation, or just in a team, in the church, and a family, 
we awaken a sleeping to the wanafu ko akaunge sikaleo in respect of our brother peter uh kuleso ngali ya brother peter god of life atonda o au ulam who gives and takes life ah why ila jao ulam as job of old said ngayo ko wita wita gamba the lord giveth and the lord taketh away kama ya wa ila ya jao may his name be blessed be the name of the lord Some years ago, nyaka mabega ko you said brother Peter among us what to moga da Peter mufe to be a fellow citizen with us okubera au kitutu kufe of the great commonwealth of God a kuchivile cha wangu cha katonda and we thank you for every inspiration that he has been to us How, how that he has loved to testify and he wasn't ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ but to him it was the power of God and to salvation seeing his years number up And the time comes when we must all answer and thou hast taken him from us this evening to be in thy presence for it is true it's truly that when we live here we are in the presence of god oh god we thank you for all We pray that you bless his friends and all those we understand lord that to take up come we pray for the great family to serve our family yaman that it will not be separated but the family will will be unbroken in the land on the other side may we lord now tighten up the armor and the gutter a three a little tighter and go out into the battle now to fight with one less than we had a week ago we pray that you will sustain us and that you will sustain and strengthen us and help us as we carry on and someday may we all gather together again on the other side for we ask it in Jesus name songs too long you may sing the chorus then in 2 3 to 5 minutes please after the sisters you shall have sister mira komsime the sisters na maze kucha kwa sister mira komsime
It would seem like an ocean to me. Leave my heart where a window you could look through. the only song we are going to see.
across the bridge. There is no more sorrow. And Brother Branham had crossed beyond the curtain of time. Again, the Usu Kawajiji. Amen. He said, Yagamba, there is nothing compared to anything he couldn't describe. And he said, just across that deathbed. There is no more sorrow. Sister Mabel, Sister Irene. Sister Mabel, Sister Irene. Brother Kuria is watching online. Our brother Kuria, I am not here with Timbagano. He requested to give a special to Peter. Yes, sir. You are very much ranger with Brother Peter. So, Brother Kuria, Uganda Kuria. After this song, please call in. And sing your song. Receive greetings from Sister Faith Wanjiku. Um, Sister Faith. She says, Receive my heartfelt condolences, Speckled Bird Ministries. We will meet in the morning in the Eastern Gate. In that pearly white city that John saw descending. Thank you, Sister. We will Sister Faith.
Brother Kuria, or Kenya, or Nairobi, Kenya. Brother Kuria, we are hearing. Yes. God bless you. I hope you're hearing. You're hearing me well. Amen. Amen. I want to give my personal condolences uh, to the family of our precious brother Peter. Every family and also to our precious pastor, uh, brother Gideon and brother Nathan. And to the media team. Ne media team. And of course the entire church. Ne I have a message for you and before no, I sing my song. No vaka the, uh, the, the, this morning Amachagarero. There was a much pass in heaven. There was. You, you always hear when the presidents and the big men are welcomed by a march past well, when they okay. arrive. So, Brother Peter's entering into heaven, there was a great march past of angels. Right now, right now, right now, as we are talking, he's so busy, he's so busy um, being welcomed by all the dear ones in heaven. I'm, my, I'm telling you, uh, uh, Brother Branham was there to welcome him this morning. And uh, and uh, brother and our precious brothers of old. This is, the most, this is the most glorious, glorious, glorious moment of our lives. You cannot even imagine what is in heaven. The joy. The band, the angels band. You have never heard it. You've never heard it. It's the greatest music ever heard. Music Amen. God Amen. bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. When my way brought dreams, precious Lord, link me when my love is almost gone. Hear my cry. Hear my call, hold my hand, lest I fall, 
Predig my hand. Precious Lord, lead me home. home. Oh, precious Lord, oh, take my hand. Oh, lead me on. Let me stand. I am tired. I am weak, I am worn Through the storms, through the night Lead me home to the light Take my hand, precious Lord And lead me home, home And my guide, be my friend, give me strength, my Lord, to overcome. Yes, I am not going alone, for by grace thou art all portrayed. My precious Lord, and lead me home. Oh, yes, precious Lord, oh, take my hand. Lead me home, and let me stand. I say I'm tired, I am weak, I am weak. My work is all done, and my race is land. Let me stand by the light that was shown. We appreciate the condolence message. Thank you for being with us. We are just going to sing a very brief song, and then I will come, Sister Hannah. I'm going to sing. I will come, Sister Hannah, to welcome a pastor.
Praise the Lord, everybody. But God still remains God. And God has an answer to every situation. I extend my uh, condolences to everyone here at the church. Uh, and the relatives of Peter that are here. And even his friends. Uh, I, ex uh, I sorrow with them, or extend my condolence to them in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, today has been a hard day unto me. The whole of last night and uh, one of the, the worst days of my life. When we left here last night, uh, we reached home. And then uh, around by around eleven. Uh, my wife told me I was I, I escorted the visitors to the 
Nawe nikenda bageni ogenda mhote yale 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 so we try to call her the visa ku ba kusimze and all of the all of us were off the simze zona tezini ko uh when the commotion was going on here she was admitted in in the hospital or kunga no rade nga ruge ina maso ano yabade mudwaliro she was sick nga mudwaliro nga ari kuchitanda so she was discharged in uh, saturday night bansi bila kumuka gechiro and now Monday she went to school. The other she borrowed her mother's vehicle to go to school. And now there we are. Eleven midnight she has not returned. We started calling four, four different places among our friends. And some of them didn't have an idea of where to work. We drove, panicking, we around two. And uh, we did not avail anything. So we came back and we could not sleep. Because it was the first time for such a thing happened. Uh, you know, we were around, we were around a phone. She had gone with her mother's vehicle. And we could not imagine where she was. In the morning, I woke up very early. Police. They started trying to track her using the surveillance cameras tracking camera tracking the, the vehicle tracking we could not succeed we were imagining the worst to while i was in that now that's when i received a call from Peter's brother Brother of Peter, we are going to be seeing about this. Imagine at Tevez at that time the mother of Deborah was well. She said, Your mama, Tevez, and I in Kawa. She had contained herself through the night, but when I was leaving to go to police, she broke down. I started crying. So every time I would call home, to her, I would be received by wailing. We are imagining a around the uh, family. We thought, as she was sick, maybe I should try to drive back home. We got a blackout. And maybe Nazirika. And maybe we made an accident. That's what we were imagining. It was such an accident to not live her life. Or she was abducted or something. That's such stories. So finally, 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 she called. And we could not believe it. And what was happened? And what happened as she was coming from school? She has friends who had the. Some kapate. Right As she's trying to drive there. There was tight jam. A jam ni So she she parked at game. Na parking at game. Ku game. Ku 
for game. And go to Boda Boda. Nafuna Boda Boda. As she was going with a Boda Boda, she says, she felt a strong grief of sickness. Now, as the Boda Boda person to take her hospital. When she reached the hospital, they put her on board. She just blacked out. 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 So that is the scenario, that is the kind of day that I have gone through. Uh, it's like just a, a terrifying dream. So that is uh, and now Peter. Peter. We have prayed for Peter. Peter. Oh, we have prayed. Ah, Fena to save him. We have done all that a man can do. To cause it to now for much chas over of color. There has been no to have a day neglect. Ah, oh, 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 the first day when I heard Peter was bad, in a bad condition, they had taken him to some church because it seemed like the hospitals could not trace what was the problem. They thought church can help. So they took him in that kind of condition. Just laid him there. Waiting for the service. When I learned of that, I told them to get him out. We take him to Nakasero Hospital. As I was to rush there to pray for him. We believe in medicine. God heals, God heals by medicine. And God heals supernaturally also. I have prayed for many people. I have prayed for many people. And they got a heal of very terrible sickness. There are many testimonies here. Of people who have been healed, ranging from AIDS, cancer, different things. I said I will pray for him. Because we believe we serve a, gr a great and living God. If our God is cannot heal you, then he has decided to take you. No referral. So we got him, we took him to the hospital. Hospital. I followed and I prayed for him. When I, after praying for him, I called him, he responded. And the brethren who were attending to him, they said, this is the best of him that we have seen. Since, since we reached him. But again, the following day, I was told he is bad luck. Not so bad luck. Oh no, I think he improved. He had, oh no, the following day he was. He continued to improve. Simply. They discharged him. And he reached home. That's when I heard. But again, he is bad luck. But now he was rushed to Kirudu with connections of good doctors. 
you, we knew he will have the best there. One moment you will be recovering, another moment. So, uh, the other day I went back. And I prayed for him. And the following morning, he looked so well. That very evening. That's when Brother Oh and it's such as Brother Sechans sent a picture. Sent my picture and Nancy Peter was speaking on phone. After prayer. Because when I reached there, I tried to, to awaken him. Call him. Peter, do you know me? Peter Omani. He seemed not to recognize me. He seemed as if they are. He's pulling some little thing everywhere you picking, picking, picking somewhere. So I prayed for him. Shortly after that, such as sends me a picture. And Peter was seated. And he was talking on phone. Again, the following morning, it was said now he's in critical condition. So the situation has been like that. We have done our best. As the friends of Peter, the family of Peter, the family of Peter, you have done your best. Don't you condemn yourself. Don't you feel that if you did so the other, you could have saved his life. No. You have done what you as a human being could do. As a church, let us not feel condemned as if we have not done enough. No. As if we have not prayed enough. We have prayed. How many people have really prayed for Peter? Yeah, we have prayed. Because Peter was a beloved brother in our midst. So, when we learned he's in such a condition, we really prayed. But there is a... Well, let me first read this quote. Uh, we believe God sent a prophet in this age to prepare the church for the coming of the Lord. Just as before Jesus came the first time, God sent John the Baptist with the spirit of Elijah to prepare for the coming of Christ. So this coming, second coming, God has sent a prophet again according to how the Bible promised it to prepare for the second coming of Christ. A church to be prepared that when Jesus comes, he finds a church that is exactly like the one he started. Now, that prophet, God used him to, re to raise the dead, Cripples walk. In one meeting, thousands. Cripples would, would rise and walk in thousands. Blind eyes opening. Dead rising. It is reported. 
That in one meeting like this, Christ would perform miracles in this man's ministry. More than all the miracles that are recorded in the Bible that he did in his own ministry that lasted for three and a half years. Okusinga ebi ama gero bie ya kora ye Yesu Kristo mwiri ongo bigasi ebi yona wa mumi yake satu nechitu njiyamana kujia kwele mwere za kwe kunsi. Christ would do them in one meeting of this man. Kristo ya viko langa muru kunga na rumuru wa msa jono. Because it is still Christ. Kubange ira acha ye Kristo. But still in that man is church. Na ye ira mkanisa yo msa joyo. Brethren of Uganda would die and would be buried. In other words, when, it, when your time comes, nothing can stop it. You have to go. Death is part of it is part of this drama. That's why you must live prepared. No one thought Peter was going to die at this time. Peter had a, a fiancée in this church. Though we had not introduced them. I give condolences to you, sister. Peter was preparing to marry. Peter I was the mediator between the brother, I mean between Peter and the family. Octabaganya's family, a brother Peter, and a sister. That is Nyankore would call Katera Rume. Amunyankore wish to have a cheetah. And I was already bargaining bride price. A Rakatinaba den di Mukulam Zaku, Yokua, Yoksa Surayo. And when shall we be able to visit? Katiranganga, Mukogana Bangamba Tunachara di. And how many cows? A Ram Magarat Sariante Mika. And Peter, how, how much have you raised so far? So that we see where to, to step in. And now in that condition, death comes and strikes him. In that condition. Just like it will, it will come to you one of these now days. There is a land beyond the river that we call the sweet forever. And we reach the shore by faith decree. One by one will join the portals and there to dwell with the mortal when they ring the golden bells for you and me don't you hear the angels sing? don't you hear the angels is the glory hallelujah in the far sweet forever just be you the shining river when they ring the golden bells for you and me there is a quote I want to read here. You wanted us to sing more than that? Let me look in through the stanzas, see if I can add another one. 
He said that's what this church was established upon. Yes, this is a good one. When a days shall know their number when in death we sweetly slumber when the king commands the spirit to be free never more with anguish laden we shall reach that lovely hidden when they ring the gold sisters. I can imagine in glory they are turning pages saying who is next? And one of these days your name may be called and then the bells will ring it may be your time, it uh, may be my time. Chisera cho, chisera and when the golden bells are rung, you will have to go. We are pilgrims and strangers here. He said that's why this church was established upon. That godly, brotherly love for one another. I seen them shake. I've seen them even shake hands with one another. Leaving the, the place. Leaving the place and cry like babies to leave one another. They loved one another that well. And I could go to their house to visit them. I could go, I could go to their house to visit them. And at times the Bible was laying open and stained with tears. Come in at night time where fathers and mothers were gathered together and their little children around on the floor kneeling around and fathers and mothers on their knees crying and praying I would stand at the door and wait and wait and wait and they didn't stop praying I would just I would just sit down on the steps and start praying myself. Waiting for them. And that was, and they loved one another. They loved one another. We used to stand and sing that old song. Bless be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred mind is like to that above. When we are sand apart, it gives us inward pain. But we shall still be joined in heart. And hope to meet again.
I said this with great joy in my heart. To Christ. Many of them are sleeping around in these graves marked tonight. Banji kubo. Banji kubo waiting for that great resurrection when we will meet together again. So, brothers and sisters, when we go like this, it is not strange. Uh, it is neither a sign of weakness. No. It is God is way. In Psalms 116 verse 15 says, Verse 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Do the saints die? Yes. And it is a precious moment in the sight of God when a saint dies. So, he's one of our saints. We are not uh, saints because of our goodness. But Christ made us to be saints. When he paid our debt. And he took away the condemnation from us. He set the whole spirit and the whole spirit convicted us because of our sins and called us and we answered back. He opened our eyes and we knew that this world and all the things in it will pass away. Then we gave our life unto him. It's his grace. Brethren, it's his grace. If the Bible says that there is a way that seems right unto a man but the end thereof is destruction but the saints shall live forever and ever the scripture that I want to read depending upon your sharing here that I'm going to depend most uh, in this sharing. I'm just going to speak for a few minutes to add on those the words I've said. It's in Job chapter 14. It says in English, man that is born of a woman is of few days. Few days. Like the days that Peter has lived. Very, very few. And that's what Era. happens to every man that is born of woman. And full of trouble. Few days. And full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. Yeah. We have a song that says, I am going to a city where the roses never 
Eyo ebi muri jebita jebita watoka. Amen. Here they live for a season. Wanobibera ukumare chisera. Soon their beauty is decayed. Akasera katono oburunji wabio nebugwa oba nebugotoka. No matter how nice you are. No matter how beautiful you are. Even now nice you are in character. That all people who come around you, they like you. They never want to leave you. But. That, that only means you are a flower. You are a rose. But you live for a very short time. Soon your beauty is decayed. He flees also as a shadow and continueth not. We are still. Verse 2. And dost thou open thine eyes upon such an one? Now we om Ziburama so go a fanana watu. And bringest me into judgment with thee. Non deta musangonze nawe. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined. The number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot Pass. I want us to be comforted by those words that God determined the number of months for you and he appointed your bound and you cannot pass it. Peter was given a number of months he must live with us. And today was his expired day of the month that he was given. You cry, I say, yes, that when he's still young. That is all that God gave him. Some people live one day. And they go. Others live for a week. Others live for a year. Others live for a hundred years. Others live for one twenty years. God knows why he gave each one as he gave. You have your month. You have them numbered. Every day you celebrate a new month. Every year you celebrate a birthday. You are only saying, I have knocked so much out of the number that was given. Actually, instead of carrying on and and making parties. And, and we ought to be consecrating our lives. And say, Lord, the remaining, the balance, help me to live for you. Help me to prepare my soul. 
For my days, they are burnt down. Unfortunately, you don't know how many. Because it's not uniform. You don't know. You don't know what balance you have. So, he set a bound that you can never pass. No matter what could be done. What kind of Treatment would be given to Peter. By whatever medical profession. He could not have passed today. The boundary was set for today. And he had to go. He had to go. No matter what. So. Let us not. Uh, just mourn and say. And, and, and feel so sorry. And feel. Something could have been done. Maybe to extend his time. We have missed this. We have missed this service. We have missed this. It will be to fill it up where it is. Uh, we, uh, we have even lost uh, his uh, ministry or his service. He was to serve to that. He was to serve to that. You are also given a lot to cover. When it is done, you go. In the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 1, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle we are dissolved. We have a building of God. And house not made with hands. Eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan. Honestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. Two tabernacles, two houses. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. You follow me just like that. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan. Being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now, he's talking of two. Houses. We know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, dissolved. We have another one. We have a building of God. And a house not made with hands. Eternal. This is what it means. The body is a tabernacle. This is a housing. This is not you. This is your housing. 
That is not Peter laying there. It is the housing of Peter that is laying there. Peter is not there. He has left that house. And he has entered another house from heaven. We find the truth of this in the story of the creation. In chapter 1, God said, Let us make man in our own image. And in the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Now what is the image of God? Recently I was sent a, a video clip by a friend and there was a man with a big mouth funny looks and then, and then the words they were like yeah. image of God like does God look like this? No. It's not this physical appearance that is the image of God. Otherwise, who looks like him? We all don't look alike. So the man that was made in the image of God in chapter 1 of Genesis is a spirit be. is the real you. You are a spirit. And in chapter 2 verse 5 it says that and then go so that there was no man to till the ground. Then he made man from the dust of the earth. Chapter 1, he made him in his image. Chapter 2, there is no man to till the ground. He makes him from the dust of the earth. Some people cite their a contradiction. But it's not a contradiction. The first creation was in the image of God. It was a spirit being. God is spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit. So that, is the, that is the image of God. In chapter 2, because we are living in a physical world, physical, physical substance, he wanted man to be in the form that this earth is in. Because it is physical, for him to maintain it, it should be, he should be, have a physical body. So he made a physical body for man, and that is the house, the earthly house. Amen. Amen. And now when man sinned, he said you came from the dust and you shall return. The one that he said came from the dust is the physical. The house, it will go back to the dust. But then he has said that we have another one in heaven. In this one we groan, desiring to be closed upon by the other one. This is what it means. You have another body. You. You. You have another body. 
that body is called theophany body in Greek it is a heavenly body it looks exactly like you the only difference this one ages the other one does not age this one gets wrinkles lose a shape with age the other one does not this one depends on food that comes from the earth the other one does not need to eat Amen. so in death you break out of this one you the other one comes close to receive you. And as you leave this word, you enter. And you are just there. And you're watching that one that you have come out of. Ugly. Smelling. We have had some testimonies of people who who left the, uh, the board and came back. No zirika. Uh, maybe a uh, person uh, goes in coma. And after they, when maybe you reach, they tell you to go back. They fly over this board like a bird. He is being told to enter it again. And they resist. They don't want to come back. To it. Because it is terrible. It is ugly and it is, it is dirty. Don't want to get there. There is a brother who gave a testimony. When he was told, entering. Well, that was Brother Mark. Uh, yeah, brother Mark, Mark, we were brother Mark. And he entered it. Nada by force mm. and by command. And when he entered it, struggling not to enter it, he kicked the bed. Because now he has already entered it. So those are the two bodies. You have a body. Now we know Mubiri. Peter is in a better body. Peter are Mubiri Omurunjo Kusinga. He's more strong. Katiwari wa amani. Energetic. Aina amani. More handsome. Arabi kaburunji nyo. He does not desire to come back to this jagat again. You also have a body. Now we know Mubiri Ogugo. But the sad news to some people their theophany body is in the region of the lost because of the choices they, they have made here on earth. Their bodies are in the region of the And the other people, their bodies are in the region of the blessed. And that body is magnetizing you. If it is in the region of the lost, you find yourself all the time you are being influenced to do wrong things. Being influenced to drink, being influenced to commit adultery, commit fornication. Being influenced to do dirty things and godly things. Because it is pulling you. It is in the region of the Lord. And you must join it and stay there. 
But if you, your theophany body is in the region of the blessed, it is also magnetizing you, pulling you to heavenly places, pulling you to heaven to be like Jesus. You are hungering all the time and thirsting to have more of God, to live a more godly life. And there is that anointing that comes on you that sets a sorrow and a craving and a hunger for more of God. You feel homesick for heaven. And you feel you want to completely detach yourself from this world and live fully dedicated to God. It is your theophany body that is magnetizing to find it. The hunger and the thirst you have in you is a sign of where you are still funny body is. So the Bible says, Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be fed. They are blessed. Peter came to sit here from Rukunjiri. He didn't have so much control of parents of daughters. Like, if you stand uh, when you're grazing and you try to prevent the cows from entering someone's garden, then you try to, to protect them. They eat, but they don't enter in the garden. And in it's called that. So there are some people you have your parents, but at any time they have to be on you to try to say, Don't do this, don't do the other, don't go their side. Yet, uh, for him, he didn't have that. Meaning that she was free to live any kind of life. But he chose to live a life. Service to God. And he has been in the forefront. Here. In the forefront. It is by choice that he chose his life that way. Why? That is a sign of where his theophany body is. Amen. Amen. So, Let me add a quote here. I don't know, it was probably a vision. But there is one thing I know. I wasn't asleep. And if it was a vision, I never had one like that before in my life. I was just about as high as them uh, pilasters. Pilasters. Uh, pilasters and rafters. One time, Brother Branham was Branham. resting in bed. I, we had and he started thinking. He said, oh, I fear to die. And you die no and become a spirit. No what is a spirit? Maybe you become like a, a, like a, a heap of air. Or oh, you become like a... a like a, like a heap of smoke. Like a cloud. And you see some heap of 
Akare. A cloud and you say that is brother so and so. Ogambo you all ganda gundi. Ah. I fear to become that. Gamba ntio kubiede chintu wechitio. So one morning, a voice spoke to him and told him, would you like to see beyond the curtain of time? He said, yes, Lord. It would do me a lot of good. Immediately, he came out of the body. He was up here at around, uh, uh, at the, around the height of a ceiling. And he could see his body laying there. On a pillow. pillow. And sleeping and his wife also sleeping. That's the story he's giving here. And just about that high, like right back at myself. And just as much as I'm standing here looking right back, and I could see myself laying there, had a real funny feeling. Had, had a real funny feeling. And I, had, I had a heart attack and I had died. And I thought, well, if this. I, I, I thought, well, if this is death, my, this is wonderful. And that's what it is. That's how people die. Wow, is this death? If this is what it is, oh, it's wonderful. You are still conscious. You still have your senses. And you are appreciating death. But not all. Ah. It depends. How your life. How you have been walking in your life. There are some people who die. As they are gnashing the teeth and kicking and they just throw the arms and legs and they just hold the bed sheets hold the bed because things are just dragging them you refuse the word of God and you gave your life Influence. to be influenced by demons. They influenced you and they took you to adultery. Uh, in discourse. And they are rebelling at uh, the word of God. Now they have to take you. Because you gave yourself unto them to serve them. So you can't uh, escape death. And they die in a uh, terrible way. So you say, oh, well, it's, Nagamba, oh, it's, wonderful. it's wonderful. And I tell you Christians right now, you do not have one thing to worry. If you are in Christ, don't never fear death. Death has no fear to it. No, no, no. It is joy. Death is joy. Death is joy. And then, after that, he, he saw himself in a big green field. Beautiful. He said in the human language, there is no vocabulary that can express what he saw. If you say supreme, it's, a, it's an, an under expression. 
say, so there is no vocabulary. And then since there, started coming to him. Oh, precious brother. We are glad to see you. Oh, you're welcome. He started embracing them. Him. Putting on wonderful robes. Women had the long hair. Put down. So they had the pearly teeth. Eyes. So beautiful. No old age. No younger. No record face. And they embraced him. And he could feel them. Real beings, real bodies, the way we are here, only now in another world. Brother, sister, that's where Peter is. Peter Peter Last Sunday I was baptizing people here. And I read a scripture. Go into the world. Preach the gospel. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be condemned, shall be damned. It is that simple. Accepting Christ and denying the world and denying the world. That's what he did. Now what can fail him to get eternal life? Ah, then Christ will become a liar. He said that all those that my father gave me, there is none of them that will get lost. And I will give them eternal life. Let me see, say this. I don't know how many more messages I have to preach. Before I go. But if you are a real believer in God. And being born again. Don't be scared of death. It's the best thing. That could happen to you almost. It's better than the marriage unspeted. Today in Peter, his life, he got the best thing than he would have gotten. On his marriage day. On his wedding day. I can say that boldly. I can say that boldly. Because I'm a believer of God is word. What God is word tells me. It is Amen. 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 Yeah, it's the best thing could happen to you almost. Paul, Paul said Paul Yagamba, to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Don't never fear death. Second Thessalonians we are caught up with our loved ones to meet him in the air. To meet him in the air. What a promise. What an absolute. It is to believe in Christ. To have my heart say amen. Every word in his book. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Bible Gamba. The Bible says that when our Lord shall return, 
who are those that shall see him first they are these if he comes now they will be the one to come up first uh, before we are transformed mm. now by then even we who shall be still living then we are transformed are we put on now the other bodies that don't die now that they are together with them we rise in the skies and meet Christ in the air when the Bible speaks of those words, then it adds and says that therefore comfort one another with those words. And there the Bible refuses us to cry as those without hope. As those without hope. Praise be to God. So with those words, if you are a believer of the word of God, um, be strong in spirit. Amen. Amen. Uh, Peter has gone to where we shall all, where we are all heading to and where we are yearning to be. And one day we shall be there. The reason why we are still here, listen, brother, the reason why you are still here, okay, let's say in this way if there is a better place, and for us here we are in misery, then why don't we go? Why can't we be there and we yearn to die and go? No. The reason why we are still here, the Apostle Paul has said that, that I to die, it's joy. But again, I to live, it's for Christ. Amen. So, now, if you are not to be here on earth and uh, to continue serving God, now the one who dies now is better. The, uh, the only reason why you would wish to be extended with more years it's for you to continue on serving yes. and that's the only reason besides that the things of this world are just for a short time I end with these words and I already say these words are in such moments. They were spoken by a wise man called, called Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great Emperor. He was an emperor that he would go on conquering the neighboring kingdoms. And I think at one time he ruled the whole Europe. Now, when he reached some time, he fell sick and he became weak. You can even search and find that on the internet. You can type on your Google. Uh, the three, is it three or four? If, if I, I will try to. I think there are three strange wishes. Strange wishes. Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great. They will give you those wishes. When he saw himself that he is now almost gone, he called his generals. They came and they surrounded his bed. And he told them. That if I die, I request you to do for me these things. First of all, 
You shall put my hands out of my coffin. As may be uh, that coffin is and we put out the hands. They just remain out hanging. Secondly, uh, Nina treasure store. I have my treasure store. Mujimanyi. You know it. Uh, every kingdom I've been conquering I've always rooted uh, precious things. Precious stones. Precious stones. Just go those treasures. treasures. And the treasure store is full. Now, bring out all those treasures and just uh, uh, put them down from here up to my grave. Then thirdly, hmm? okay. Thirdly, <laughs> thirdly, uh, the third is He said that my coffin from, uh, that from here I want it to be carried by but doctors by, by my doctors. Those that have always treated me, they are the ones to carry my coffin. Now, one of his generals is saluted. And he told him that my master, uh, the great emperor, I will surely do all those. But I would kind of request you to explain at least what, that, what all those things why mean. The why the strange desires? Then he told him that the first one, I want my hands to hang out of my coffin as a sign to the whole world that I have gone like the same way how I came in this world. I didn't come with anything and I have not taken anything. Now, you look at men of this world that grab people's land and they grab uh, people's uh, buildings and kill people because of land. And they own miles and miles of land. They own uh, herds and herds of cattle. When they will all leave all those things, And they just measure just six feet. I don't know whether it is uh, by three or by four, and you put in. Then he said another thing. I've spent my life gathering much, much of the treasures. But this time they are all useless. I've left all those treasures. So therefore, just spread them. And you shall now walk with my coffin on top of those treasures. And then thirdly, my doctors, those that have been uh, treating me, they must be the ones to carry my coffin as a sign that even if the doctor tries to help in any way but at the moment when death has come the doctor is helpless he's helpless he's helpless now that they are defeated so let them be the ones to even isn't that true isn't that true Therefore, presidents, the only thing we can get in the life here on earth is that moment the efforts and the efforts of the we do use to serve God and live for God. And again, the scripture says in Revelation 
that blessed are they that die in our Lord Jesus Christ and thus says the spirit for them to rest away from their troubles, troubles. and even their deeds go with them these ones they go with their deeds or their works. The Alexanders, they leave them when they are useless. But of such kind, a young uh, boy or young man, a young man, you would be going uh, with girls, You're going maybe uh, trying to call girls on the streets. You're trying to go in a doubt They call them Biana. Huh? The babes. They call them uh, babes. And now you forsake all that and then you start doing uh, such work as you're seeing those I don't know the time when the other one has finished, uh, uh, finished campus has not yet graduated the one on the camera are many graduates here but uh, instead of going for those babes and maybe going to enjoy the, the things of the world they are here. you just find him on the camera and now what are trying to look for other things that they can do for God me I got saved at an age of 17 for all those years I've been serving God I'm not saying that for us we are right Even Paul said that I die every day. I die every day. And I crucify myself every day. Lest others enter and I remain outside. Amen. Amen. Are people of such kind their works go with them. Besides that, you're just chasing wind. You won't get any satisfaction in your heart in this world. You are chasing a mirage. Mirage. Mirage is that mirage reflection on the road a che che chiberange kitanga la chosanga ku chorus nga chirabika nga amazo bange ndabiwamu chiringa nga amazi and when you reach it it is empty and when you reach it it is empty a chintu echitaliwo mirage mirage you look at a woman you think oh there is a lot of satisfaction of gamba, oh, gamba. in this world you get her you are no looking for another one another. No, 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 no. Solomon a Solomon had 900 wives he had the fat one the slender one the tall one the short ones those ones with, with, with the bow legs. With? Those ones with the straight legs. Those ones with big eyes. Those with narrow eyes. 1,000 women. That means variety and all. he never got satisfaction mirage mirage at the end of it all he said this is the duty of man go to is to fear god and to keep his commandments. So God bless you.
Kusenga gwe omulo kozi katonda chemvu desa nyukanyini ninja tula when sun you say sun you say sun you say yes gathering here with no the hope of eternal life. And as we are gathered Lord uh, because of our brother that received eternal life it would be sad earth to gather here for a sinner without the hope of us to meet him again. But we thank you God for you saved him and we thank you you dragged him and made him to decide and Lord even to serve you uh, before the scriptures we have read today has been a very good day and great in his life and according to the scriptures we have read he is in a better place with other saints according to the scriptures we have read he is putting on a glorified body the one that is more than greater than these ones we are putting on and what according to the scriptures we've read one day we shall meet him we shall again embrace him 
we shall again rejoice together with him. That one know that we know that it's not far. It's not many years known. Us are going to meet these people. Yes, in fresh we are going to miss him. But Father, we believe that one day we shall meet you there where there is no sorrow, where there is no suffering. Where their ear shall never hear of any evil thing. Father, we ask Lord for your grace to take us through this moment. Comfort Lord a heart, a heart of any, every individual. You, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, bring Lord comfort unto our hearts. Even Lord, the journey from here to Rukunjiri, we put it, Lord, in your hands. Lord, uh, lead us in this, Lord, in this journey. And take away all the hindrances, all the roadblocks of the evil one, so that we reach, Lord, safely. It is and the comfort that we've gone with we impart it even to those that we shall find there thank you O our Lord for the knife for, for the one that you saved and it gives us joy so that uh, in the way that he is not lost from us but he made a right decision I pray Lord, for all of them, even, even the mother and the brothers and the uncles and all even the aunties, that the cousins, all the friends, Lord, we pray, give them, Lord, comfort, give them victory, and also, Lord, make them to decide. Those who have never decided to get saved, Lord, to decide from today, and even those that got saved to come uh, to make more decisions to be strong in you and even all the brethren that are here I pray all for them I pray all for the media team the missionary team I pray all for all of them for your grace to be enough for us to satisfy us Thank you, our Lord. And the many times we've been with him in the missionary missions. For the work and the service he has done here in the media. Lord, we thank you for all that. For all those works known. You shall remember them on that day. Thank you, Father. We pray through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And it, uh, I wish to deliver condolences from uh, Pastor Gwandaru. We received this news when we were still around. And when they saw the burden that is on my heart. They said, no, let us not give you. Let us relieve you. Because now, feeling you have visitors, and here is the burdens of the funeral. No. Let us leave. We are to leave tomorrow morning. But decided to leave tonight. Right now, as, as we are here, they are on the way traveling. But they feel with us, pain with us. And they, also, they told me they lost a sister in Nairobi. By the way, here they were told. There's a sister who passed over. So, brethren, this is the way. Youth, youth, please, 
Let this be a, a learning from you to you to you. Deka chibabe it becomes a, la, some, a, yeah, a lesson. A chokuiga that you should live for God. Chimoberi o mtamizo bula mukwa mukwa tonda. Esawa yone esawa yona. Anytime. Esawa yona. You can go. Oso bulo genda. So God bless you. Uh, but then, Saba, I would request program. I according to the program to get the caller body viewing. Uh, we are going to do body viewing. Saba, you I request for some Runyankore song. Brother Arthur is going to be the master of, of these ceremonies. Yeah, again, that he says, he says something. Uh, I, I he says something. I know he says something. Briefly. Um, and then uh, we shall give also offerings. And then we view last as we are uh, I think that is a better order. So, Brother Asa, quickly. It's a dark day for, uh, for us, uh, but it's also one of the most glorious days Na that we have. I've often stood here for weddings. It's the first time I'm standing for a funeral. Uh, uh, this is going to be our arrangement. Uh, 
A plus funeral services. Uh, but A plus funeral services. We'll go with Brother Peter up to Mbuya. Baje again and Brother Peter up to Mbuya. Where he's been staying. Wabadabira. Uh, for just a few hours. Maresa wanto no to no. After which they will take him to the funeral home. Oruva nyuma bamtuari iwaka. Where I believe he will leave in the morning, right? Wins around four. To go to Cantojo. Ziki zawo bagendo kufa kumacha orange anga bagende Cantojo. Barrio is for Wednesday. Okuzi kagenda kuira ukuboksa tu. In most cases, Western barrios. Emrude jisinga bumi Western Uganda gidi watika okuzi kwa. We start our barrios at 10 a.m. Tu tani kasa wanyezo kumacha. People arrive, they eat. Abantu nebadja nebadia. Then we have the part of the church. Nuabera which tu nde cha service ekanisa. Then we bury at two or three. Then okuzi kasa wanga muna no ba muenda. A speckled band members. Ah, ba members speckled band. There is a means of transport. Wadi we intambula e. We have a costa. To ina costa. And brother Shamamba Nguba is in charge. Brother Shamamba Nguba ya ya vunani ziwa. The costa has limited spaces. Costa yu ina mwe before sibi inji. So it's better if you call him. A chirunji wona mu tegeza. Book with a payment. A kwa techefo ngo sasura. Payment is fifty thousand. Going and coming back. Even if you're just going, you'll still pay fifty. If you book and you don't pay, whoever will pay will take your place. So let's follow that order for better, for better planning. Uh, I could give you Brother Shamamba's phone number for those interested in going. So that you call him and book with him. A zero seven five two. Zero seven five two. Nine four. Six two. Mukaga bidi. Two six. Bidi mukaga. Let me read it again. Jidam. Zero seven five two. Zero seven five two. Nine four. Mwendanya six two mukaga bili two six bili mukaga. He has a similar line for MTN. Aina line yemwele ya MTN. It's zero seven seven two zero msang msang bili. And the following numbers are the same. Nezidi zidako zifana gana. Of course, speckled bird, you'll have a priority. Ah, speckled bird, you have a priority. But where Peter is going to right now, Nbuya. Ah. Peter, we know Mr. Santi. Peter Jagenda in Biya Jibam Tuara. A prayer. You have a priority. Oh, me abaina umksok soka. People in Biya will use the same costa if they book before you. Abe in Biya abagenda kwe sa costa yemu. I'll take your spaces. Kati buba sok buba sokok booking achi tegeza na wabadja kutoa diwa costa yemu. Apparently, those are the announcements we have. Mchisele chaka kano bi virango bi tuina o. Maybe some change if we can. If, uh, if we can widen the opportunity, yes, so that he looks for more than one coaster, the better. The better. Um, twins, so we are going to mix to no one yet. She's going to come to coaster. Mok sinzira kwa mtu abana abira o. Chibirenti yena uliyanga agaru genda. Can have a chance to. Abenga ino mukiso go genda. There's been a slight change, Pastor. We. Ira wawado ku wabula mokola koko kuchusa tu sam. A plus would have wanted to go to Mbuya, but they've cancelled. They'll be going to your funeral home, right? Directly. Directly. So we'll not be having any body viewing in Mbuya for today. Uh, the wreaths, the wreaths that you see down there, uh, the wreaths of flowers, the flowers we thought we would give them from here. But we later adjusted, we are going to give them from home. Yes, I think those are the announcements, Pastor. Yeah, it's a dark viewing. Um, what next it is body viewing. Uh, thanks for being patient. I think the deacons you guide us. Those who want to do body viewing, you shall use that route. 
Then you pass here as you're going out. Aimu kama wanje onte weka nise shangwe nyete kate
Never grow. 